immediately the first day uh, of his inauguration, he bring he bring a nightmare. He caused nightmare to Nigerians in the sense that subsidy removed is is a is a hot period for Nigeria. Yeah. yeah. So no joy, bro. There's no joy at all. There's no joy. If you meet in what do you want? You would like to make him try to remove that fuel subsidy. Make him remove them. Make him remove them. If for the fuel subsidy, let him remove the fuel subsidy. So that will be unable to manage the way we've been seeing ourselves. Because the government want to work harder than Buhari government. My brother, what I can see now there is even worse than uh, Buhari. Yeah. What do you expect from this administration? I don't expect anything good from this administration. I just carry go. Just the way what we suffered in the hand of Buhari is what we are still going to experience. You don't think our leader deserves our prayers? Which prayer? Is it affecting you as an individual, as a Nigerian? Uh, truly, I would say that the first city remove is affecting every citizen of this country because the trekking and the price of the ties that will enter now is not normal and it's costing many people money and there is no money in this country. People are suffering too and on that, on that note too, people are still, add, they are still adding money on their transportation. So it's very bad. So I, I have to appeal to the federal government to look into reactor. It's a gazetted issue. Uh, removal of subsidy is nice, but the price regime is faulty. Secondly, uh, they would have at least made our three or four refineries existing in Nigeria to work. If those, if the refineries are working, then we can talk of uh, uh, get a price regime that will be suitable for everybody. How come you never negotiated with labor? People are the 30,000 30, naira minimum wage cannot even buy a bag of rice in Nigeria, and at the same time you are straining the workers to go into work with transportation of more than 1,000 naira per day. So it's rubbish. So no joy, sir. No joy, my brother. So if you meet uh, President elect, you know, what you go tell him? I wouldn't want to meet that man because he's not. I don't take to see him as my president. Yeah. So uh, let's quickly. Uh, more the rook now. I think for around this guy since he don't come out. More the rook now. The Jagaba, because we know a plan of us people have a Jagaba is in the good one year. You go pass over Shikuma, we take over. So we do look the country, and I know we tell the country we talk about because all of us know the truth. This Nigeria have a spy two for ten, may they share this country and leave that man they put in that prison. Without that man, Nigeria will not sit until they leave that man. You have not even got to, got into the office. He said he removed socks. Look at the way, the way everybody is suffering. No joy, sir. Even you, the, 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 are, you the, are you having joy? You are just smiling and laughing. Even you, the media, you people are not happy. Well, what do you expect from this administration? I don't expect anything good from this administration. I just carry go. Just the way what we suffered in the hand of Buhari is what we are still going to experience. You don't think our leader deserves our prayers? Which prayer? If, if, if even the prayer is even reaching them, I am one of people that will never pray for them for one day. So yesterday, the tribunal, you've seen P2B lawyers then presented the narcotic uh, Chicago case with $460 uh, um, dollars that were seized in Chicago by Tinobu. They presented the case at the court and double nomination by Kashim Shetima. Give us your views, sir. They have presented it. And the court accepted it. And the court accepted it. Yes. Then let's see what, how it goes. Tinibu has the, uh, the judiciary. So they will not get anything out of it. So no way? That one is just a jamboree. It's just body exercise they did. So you don't believe in Nigeria, uh, the credibility of the Nigeria justice system? Even you too, that is the, the journalist, you don't even believe in them. Talk less of me. No, not because you people know the truth. At the end of the day, you, you pretend as I'm not referring to you, but I'm referring to the journalists. Because when you say anything, they will not allow you, they will stop your work. So there's nothing will come out of it. Pronounce it before the Buhari administration that subsidy will not be removed in Nigeria until there is refineries that are functioning. And for now, no refinery is functioning. Apart from that of the Dango the Kuchi have not started production. So there is need for a thorough arrangement before this pronouncement. The pronouncement has put Nigeria 
into a very serious problem. A chaotic state where everybody is doing things illegally and as they are there. All those ones are operating on their own. They don't care what, what, whether it pays the masses or not. They're just uh, putting prices as they like, uh, charging people as they like. The transporters are also doing the same thing. Like this morning, I went to Rumokoro, they charged me 300 naira from Matere, which wasn't uh, the case before now. So uh, the only thing that will bring the situation to, in, into normalcy is for the presidency to readdress the statement they had just made. So we should readdress the statement. Yes. Proper plans should be put in place before making the decisions or coming out to make a public announcement because it's going to put Nigeria in a chaotic state. So let's go to election tribunal. Yesterday we've yeah. seen... Uh, the thing is very tight here. How business? How is it affecting you as a individual transportation-wise? Uh, if you look at the situation of things in this country now, because of the high of the high of the high cost of the fuel now, uh, things is not moving normal. Because those who sub where it's supposed to go because of transport, you understand, you may find another alternative way by even making call instead of uh, using transporting tra uh, to, that? to that place. That's the problem. But you know, the exact time that the subsidy will be removed. But for now, yes. For now, everybody is on the, the filling station have just closed. All, all the filling stations have closed. Others are selling at uh, exorbitant prices. They are selling as they want to sell. Uh, not as if there's no rule. So, but there's need for a uh, clarification on that issue by the presidency. If the presidency can come now and say, well, see what I mean. I mean that it is obvious that subsidy has been removed, but it will start effect from so so day and so so day. Then, but the one thing I also believe is that the labor union is still very much involved in this matter. They have pronounced it before the Buhari administration that subsidy will not be removed in Nigeria until there is refineries that are functioning. And for now, no refinery is functioning. Apart from that of the Dango, the which have not started production. So there is need for a thorough arrangement before this pronouncement. The pronouncement has put Nigeria into a very serious problem. A chaotic state where everybody is doing things illegally and as they, as they, all those ones are operating on their own. They don't care what, what, whether it pays the masses or not. They're just uh, putting prices as they like, uh, charging people as they like. The transporters are also doing the same thing. Like this morning, I went to Rumokoro, they charged me 300 naira from Matere which wasn't the case before now. So uh, the only thing that will bring the situation to, in, into normalcy is for the presidency to readdress the statement they had just made. So we should readdress the statement. Yes. Proper plans should be put in place before making the decisions or coming out to make a public announcement because it's going to put Nigeria in a chaotic state. So let's go to election tribunal. Yesterday we've seen uh, OB uh, lawyers uh, presented, you know, the Tinubu passed a uh, Nakoti case in Chicago at the court and it was accepted and Chetima double nomination. Give us your reaction to that. Sir. Well, about the uh, double nomination of Chetima, uh, if you look at the ruling, the court has ruled that one that was brought by PDP and he said that uh, APC or P PDP does not have any rights to go into what APC is doing. So they knock that one off. And they are going to follow this, the same pattern to knock that off, a Labour Party off. Then, uh, if that one is knocked off, the area, the narcotic uh, uh, involvement, yes, that one is the one that has a heavier weight. But the case is still under scrutiny. They are still uh, on it. So for now, uh, the matters uh, we have to still look at what will unfold in the days to come. So what do you think will come out? As Nigerians, are, obedience are, uh, you know, closely waiting to see what the court, uh, what will be the outcome? Well, for now, uh, I cannot definitely say what will be the outcome because the papers have just been presented, the evidences have just been presented. Uh, the court will look at it, receive it, then uh, it will, everything will still depend on, upon the court to look at the credibility of those uh, witnesses that have been presented. If they are okay, the court can nullify the, uh, the, the uh, by rights. They said, Labour Party said he is not supposed to 
contest the election. Yes. So everything is in the hand of the court now, depending on the credibility of the uh, uh, what has been presented before the court. So we are watching. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Our own is Tribu have not started. And the mentioning of subsidy, I want him to stamp the, stamp the subsidy to be removed. As in don't start now. Not tomorrow they will negotiate for another thing. Okay? So that is just it. Then along the line, we are still looking at him. And whenever, we know how far. Because he just started. The movie the subsidy is a welcome development. Oh man, to me, yo. Just as you said, uh -huh. to me, that is my opinion. That is it. You see, a lot of Nigeria are dissatisfied while uh, crying that the fuel price have skyrocketed. Subsidy have been mentioning since Jonathan time. And subsidy are not being removed. And we have been buying fuel 700, 1000, any amount. So let the subsidy be removed entirely. We know if we are buying fuel 2000, 1 million, subsidy have been removed. Once and for all. You have seen this at the Shall I go be? It should be better by the grace of God. It should be better by the grace of God. Thank you.